Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build a funnel with ClickFunnels. If you do not yet have a ClickFunnels account, I will leave my affiliate link in the description of this video and you can go ahead and sign up for a free 14 day trial. Now, once you have either signed up to your account or you have logged into your existing ClickFunnels account, to access the funnel area and create a funnel, we want to come over to this tab on the left hand side and click right here into funnels. So we can go ahead and open this up. And then these are existing funnels. So anytime you create a new funnel, it's going to show up down here. And at any time we can click back in and we can re-edit existing funnels that we have. But to create a new funnel, we just go up to create funnel in this top right corner. We click right here. And then you can see we have all of these different, they call them proven funnel types. Now, these are just kind of pre-built funnel steps. So we can see we have things like a summit funnel, which is going to help you grow your list and build your following. And this has four different funnel steps. Then we have a squeeze page funnel, which is going to help you generate leads and capture emails. This is a two-step funnel. So if you have a specific funnel type and a specific funnel goal in mind, then you might want to go ahead and use one of these and get some general direction on the funnel steps that you will want to use from ClickFunnels themselves. I personally never use this. I like to customize my own funnel entirely. So what I like to do is just go to start from scratch in this top right corner and then we can choose this funnel name. So I'm just going to call this example funnel just like that and then we can go through and create this and we are now going to be taken over to this area. So this is the main funnel dashboard and this is where we can start adding in our different funnel steps. So to add the first funnel step we just click on this plus icon right here and then you can see we have we can either add a page or a conditional split path. Now we can ignore these for now. These are definitely more advanced and just to create a regular funnel, we want to go to create new page. In here, it's now going to load all of the different kind of templates. That's the word I was looking for. Templates for the pages that we can build. So this right here is opt-in templates. We then have thank you page templates, sales page templates, order page templates. And I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend that you use one of these. If you really don't want to, and you really cannot find a template that you like the look of, that you're happy to customize. By the way, any of these are completely customizable. You can change the images, you can change the text, you can change the color. These are just base outlines and base templates. But if you really don't like any of these, you can click on new page and you can start from scratch. Either way, with 99% of funnels, we want to start out with an opt-in form and we want to be collecting people's emails. So let's say that my funnel is, I'm going to be creating this to sell like an online course about marketing, but I want to collect people's funnels by giving them an ebook. So I'm going to look through here and find one that kind of fits so I can put my ebook right here. We can use this one. So we can just go in and click on choose. And then we can choose the name of this. So I'm just going to call this squeeze page. And then once we have set that up, we can click on create. For the description, it doesn't really matter. Nobody will be able to see this. So don't get hung up on that. And as you can see, we now have this page loading in right here. So what we can do is we can go in and click on edit. And this is going to take us into the funnel step that we just created. And this is now going to allow us to edit it. Now the ClickFunnels editor is very easy to use. It's drag and drop. So what this means is any text that you need to change, we just click in right here and we can just edit the text like a Word document. So I'm going to say, instead of having this right here, I'm going to say how to drive traffic for free and make your first $10,000 online. We can drop that right there. And then we can go down and we can edit all of this text right here. So we can click in, we can edit all of this. And to edit images and anything else on the page, well, once again, we can just click in right here and it's going to open up this panel on the right hand side. So to change the image, I would look right here for the image URL. Then we can click on this button to change the image. And I'm going to upload an image of this ebook. So I can just search for this in my computer and it's going to be this one right here. We can then drop that in. And perfect, my ebook is now going to be there. Then back over on this right hand side, we are still in the image panel. So I can now go ahead and choose like the image width to make this bigger and smaller. So I can choose that right there. 
but I'm just going to leave this as it is. And then there are a few more settings like the image quality. These are less important. The main thing for images is just replacing this and getting this the right size. And then if you want to add anything else, you can add a new section. So just to explain the difference between sections and elements, everything above this green line right here, you see where it says add section. All of this is the top section. And then within the section, we have elements that make this up. So this photo is an element, this text is an element, this button is an element. And at any time, we can either add a new section to add another big block down here, or we can just add individual elements to this top section. So we would do this by just clicking add element. And then let's say that I want to add a video as an example. I can select the video. And then once I have this, I can go to move and I can drag this to where I actually want to put this. So those are elements and then to add a new section we just go down here and there are a lot of pre-built sections that ClickFunnels give us. So we can go in and we can choose one of these. I am going to delete this but just to show you we could add this and then once again we can add new elements, we can delete certain elements and we can customize all of this right here. If you have a pop-up on your page like you have this section that says open pop-up then we can go to the top and click on show pop-up and in here we can now edit the pop-up. So what this means is when somebody clicks this, it's going to open this section right here. So once again, we would go ahead and customize this. And I might say, enter your email below to get access. And we can set that up right there. Perfect. So if we now view this, we can open this up. And of course, this is not fully edited. Like I would definitely change this if I was actually setting this up. But to show you how this would look from a client point of view, they click in, enter their email, click yes, send me a copy, and now you have their email. But when they go through here and click yes, send me a copy, well, where do we send them? We don't send them anywhere because we haven't got to that next funnel step. So from here, we can go out and build the rest of the funnel. So let's just back out of this, make sure this is saved, and then we can back out. And we are going to be taken back to this page. So we now have an opt-in page. We can then go down and click on this plus icon once again then we want to create a new page. And in here, we can now go ahead and choose from these other type of pages. So next, I might create a sales page. I want to collect somebody's email, give them the ebook, then maybe I want to sell them something. So we can once again, choose the template that we are going to add. I don't know why this is a thing in ClickFunnels. This is always going to show you the previous funnel step, even though I just selected a completely different page, but oh well. We can click on create page right here. And then once again, we can go through and edit this and we can do the exact same thing as we did on the previous funnel step. So once this loads up, any images that we have, we can just click in and edit on this right hand side. We can click into the text. Uh, if we have like a payment option right here, we can click in and we can fill this all out. So we can look at the checkout steps, make sure they are all set up correctly. We can click back in make sure the contact form is set up correctly and we are getting all of the correct information. So we can set all of that up right there, go through and edit this page. If you want to delete sections, we can delete sections. If you want to add new sections, we can add new sections. And once again, once you have finished with this, we just click on save and that funnel step is now created. Then once you have created the second funnel step, maybe you just want to stop here and you are happy once they have purchased, but we can also go back and I do like to add a thank you page at the end. So we can add a new page, go create page, add a thank you page right here and you get the idea. So now what this means is because we have this funnel set up and we have this connected to each other, people go to the squeeze page, they fill in the information. Then they go to this next page, fill in the information, and then they would get to the thank you page. And this is the end of the funnel right here. So that is how you can build a funnel on ClickFunnels. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.